Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwin with your first alert forecast. Temps near freezing across the Cape Fear region this morning, a bundle up kind of morning. But if your layers are not rain repellent, no worries on your West Shore home. First alert sky cam from Elizabethtown, one of many dry views. Elizabethtown, one of many spots settled deep down into the 30s. It sets a freezing mark. The airport on the bypass, 32 degrees. Officially in Wilmington at the airport, our 5 o'clock hour temperature is 36. Still a little more room to fall. Temperatures 10 to 15 degrees colder than even this time yesterday, which was colder than the day before. This cold front recently doing work. Radar scan free and clear of showers to reiterate those dry sentiments. A few dying lake effect snow showers off to the north. A few showers along the east coast of Florida guided in around high pressure. This high pressure system going to keep us dry for a while. So let's bring in your dog walking forecast now. And this is Henry as Kermit. And this is Quinn as Miss Piggy. Deanna, I really appreciate the photo. Looks like you guys had a great Halloween. Had a lot of photos of pups all dressed up in the see it, snap it, send it section of WECT.com. And I don't hate it. Your dog walking forecast puts a caution paw on the 7 o'clock hour because it's 7 a.m. It's still very dark. So be careful there. Of course, brisk and cold. So you got to think about layering up. Sunny and crisp, the headliners for noon and five. Of course, no rain in the gauge at ILM Airport yesterday. That would be a uniform sentiment across the Cape Fear region. And only one day in the month of November fully tallied so far. So our month to date deficit isn't crazy, but the year to date deficit, especially lately, is growing. So I've got a keener eye on the U.S. Drought Monitor, which is a division of NOAA. They compile reports from Tuesday to Tuesday and release them Thursday. So the latest available report was from last Thursday. And you can see this is a story burgeoning drought in the Western Carolinas. It will be interesting for me to see and I will pass along to you as well later this morning when the report is released. If we're starting to get back into drought designations, the upper level pattern from today into next week offers no real support from the jet stream for any major storm systems, but it does keep any new cold air masses from making any significant southward incursions. So the cold that we're feeling right now we just have to wait for it to expire. Another cold, potentially frosty morning tomorrow, Bill. But this weekend, I would say with those 70s coming back, we could say that this cold air mass will have expired. Back to you.